Cygnus Sons 17, you read here about the suicide of Ahithophel. He was the grandfather of Bathsheba, the woman with whom David had had an affair. Well, Ahithophel now commits suicide because he had been the counsellor to Absalom, and yet Hushai came along, and Absalom preferred to listen to Hushai, even though the record happens to mention that Ahithophel's counsel was better, his advice was better than that of Hushai, and he feared that he now was not the power behind the throne. And so when he saw that his advice had not been taken, he settled his donkey, arose, went home to his city, set his house in order, and hanged himself, and he died, and was buried. He ran out of political highway, so he thought. He gave up on life. He felt he had failed, that he'd lost his power. Now, there's a lot of people in this world who may not commit suicide, but they give up on life. Because it didn't go how they think it should have gone. What might have been, what ought to have been, how I should have been treated, and where I should have got in life didn't work out. And they withdraw from life, they give up on life, and it becomes mere existence. All this is a sign that they do not feel secure in their relationship with God. In our case, the Lord Jesus died on the cross so that we should be secure. We have every reason to feel secure that I know that my sins are forgiven and that by God's grace I will live forever and ever. That is certain for me. The hope that we have means an absolute certainty, not a hope for the best, but an absolute certainty that Paul says is an anchor of hope the soul. That is what makes you secure as a person. And so life goes wrong. And yes, it doesn't work out as you think it should have done. And yes, you were better than someone else, but well, they got the job or whatever. And you are pushed to one side. This is what happens in life. Just get it. That goes with the territory of going through life and of being human. But for us, all our failures, all our sins even, all that doesn't quite work out is nothing compared to that final security that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so what if you die, an obscure, unappreciated old man or woman? Okay. But you are with the Lord.